The paper addresses issues of information, communication and technologies in the context of the education sector in Swaziland. The Minister of Education and Training recognizes the critical use of information com and communication technologies in the transformation of society to ultimately meet the universal requirements of an ever-changing uh, global environment. The education sector also recognizes that the new information and uh, communication te technologies are closely link, linked to the many aspects of human uh, activities and therefore clearly uh, significant in lifelong learning. It cannot be overemphasized that ICTs provide a great deal of, of uh, advantage in enhancing human capacity, energizing the teaching, learning environment, delivery of equitable education, and encourages an environment that supports creativity and critical thinking. It is therefore imperative that we expose our children, parents, and leaders to ICT in order to develop individuals capable of functioning in a technological-driven knowledge-based economy. The all-encompassing uh, use of ICT in education optimizes the operations and management of Ministry of Education and Training in providing the highest quality of service to citizens of Swaziland. The Ministry of Education and Training's core mandate is developing human capital so as to ensure that the country's citizens develop to their full potential and compete effectively in the global village. The ministry has been doing this through provision of opportunities to every Swazi child. One of these areas where the ministry has thrived is to, uh, is to perform in the area of uh, information, communication, and technology. The government's mission is to ensure that the use of ICT in the education system is strengthened to expose all children who leave the system to new, uh, to new technologies. ICT skills are viewed as very critical and essential in the global village. This is in line with the aspirations of the ministry, which are enshrined in its mission and vision statements. The vision of the education sector is to ensure the attainment of quality educational opportunities for all pupils of school going age and adults irrespective of their socioeconomic background and with ultimate goal of enhancing their, productivity, uh, pro their productive capacity, thus improving the quality of their lives. However, the vision of the education sector in relation to ICT is to be the base, uh, the base ministry leading and transforming education and training through the use of ICT with a view of meeting challenges of the 21st century through the provision of ICT infrastructure, ICT solutions, sustainable socioeconomic development, accelerated poverty reduction and quality opportunities regardless of gender and physical disability. The mission of the education sector is to provide relevant and affordable quality education and training opportunities for the entire populace of the Kingdom of Swaziland in order to develop all positive aspects of life for self-reliance, social and economic development, and global competitiveness. However, the mission of the education sector in relation to ICTs is to establish a technology-centered infrastructure focused on enabling education and training to be responsive to the dynamics of the social and economic environment that prepares all Swazi learners, educators, and communities for, of today for the world economy. ICTs are used to achieve the basic aim of ed education, ensuring that all citizens of the uh, country live a better quality life. ICTs are used to increase access to education and uh, information. Therefore, ICTs are used as a vehicle to achieve a universal basic education, thus facilitating the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals, Education for All, and National Goals of Education. The country has witnessed this through initiatives such as the radio, electronic, oral, and print media. Moving towards the new ICT, Swaziland embarked on a number of initiatives which began with equipping schools with computers. 
These include initiatives such as uh, the Republic of China Taiwan Computer Project, the Computer Education Trust, the UNESCO Japan funded project, the Coca-Cola Foundation, and lately the joint partnership with MTN Swaziland. Uh, these are from the private sector. Uh, the key thrust of these activities is to introduce e-learning and gives basic IT skills to learners. Most of these efforts are targeted but are not limited to secondary high schools. ICTs in education usually takes two broad uh, formats in Swaziland. That is, they are used in teaching, in learning, in training, in research, and they are used in the management and administrative, uh, administration in, of education. The Minister of Education and Training embraces and uses both formats. Issues of connectivity between the educational institutions and the ministry, as well as access to the web, internet, and security are very pertinent to this sector. The ministry uh, advocates for uh, connectivity, that uh, <coughs> advocates for connectivity, but at reasonable cost. The high cost of connectivity, in, that is internet connectivity, in the country militates against, against access to internet and thus the use of computers in education is limited just to normal use, uh, even though we would have loved it to use as a tool for research, for teaching, and so on. Quite a few schools and, and government departments have access to web, to internet connectivity. Currently, uh, internet connectivity currently does not even exist in some regional education offices. The Minister of Education and Training strongly believes that access should not be limited to the formal sector, but to the non-formal sector, such as open and distance learning, non-formal education, and adult education, to promote lifelong learning in Swaziland. What is noted is that the changing paradigm of education delivery demands extensive use of ICTs, and libraries are no longer the only source of information. Internet is now an information highway and needs to be uh, complemented with traditional sources of information such as uh, libraries. The Minister of Education and Training has also revived its radio slot of Swaziland Broadcasting Services, which has been used for education in the past as listening and learn and other educational programs. The overall and, and overarching goals of ICTs in education includes promotion of access to the use of ICTs to all citizens of Swaziland, <laughs> students and teachers at all levels and forms of education. Promotion of the use of ICTs in the management and administration of education at all levels and forms. To use uh, the use of um, ICTs to facilitate decentralization and capacity building in all regional offices to ensure equitable distribution and management of educational resources from school level to national level and vice versa. This of course calls for target, targeted inter interventions, especially in communities that are severely disadvantaged. This requires a very comprehensive management and information system. The use of ICT for development and emancipation. This includes access to information use of information for informed decision, make, decision and, and policy making, sharing of information through a number of media, print and radio, TV use for ICT for guidance and counseling, inclusive education, networking, research and capability building. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the education sector tries to mainstream ICT in education. Therefore, there are a number of challenges as we do that. However, for the interest of time, if I start to talk about challenges, you remain here for the rest of the day. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen.